Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I'm here to give you guys my list of the worst natural hair products of 2017. And as much as I wish I could say that I love all the products that I've ever spent my hard earned money on, that is a lie. It's simple logic. I've tried many products in 2017 and you're going to have the best ones, you're going to have the mediocre ones, and we're going to have the worst ones. It happens. If after watching this video, you still want to give some of these products a try, please go out and spend your hard earned money. It not affecting me one way or another. I totally support your decision, okay? I just know I never like them products here. So, with that out of the way, lighten up a little bit and let us go through my list of the worst natural hair products of 2017. So I'm gonna go in order of wash day and first I have a shampoo that it kind of breaks my heart to put on the list because it is a Jamaican made product and it came highly recommended and this is the Ashley moisturizing herbal black soap shampoo. I've used this shampoo about three times already and each and every time it leaves my hair dry, brittle and feeling like straw. And you see if those were the only bad things about this shampoo, I would have said it's bad and not so bad. I'd have just use it once a month and call it a clarifying shampoo. But to top it all off, it don't even clean my hair properly. Every single time I use this shampoo, it leaves a white film on my scalp. Now, I am not sure what that white film is. I don't care too much to find out. But I do realize that when I lather the second time around, the white film goes away. But you know what happens next? My hair is left extra dry, extra crispy, and yeah, extra straw-like feeling. So I would just rather to stay away from the shampoo. I'll just sum it up that it just don't like my hair and call it a day. The next product that this happens with is also on my list of worst products of 2017 and that is the 22nd century natural woman shampoo and I don't have it here on hand with me no I did not finish actually I lost it and I am not shedding any tears over the lost shampoo bar because I do not like it for the same reason I don't like the Ashley it leaves my hair dry and it does not clean my hair properly. But I'm going to say it's not wrong with my scalp because I have found shampoos that cleans my hair thoroughly on one lather and does not leave my hair dry, crispy, or straw-like feeling. It smells really nice though. Next product on my list is the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. And I have given this leave-in conditioner several chances because again, I would have loved to love this product. You know why? <laughs> because I spent my hard earned money on it. This is another product that came highly recommended in the natural hair community as giving you great curls for a wash and go and yeah, that's what I mostly heard it was used for, a wash and go. The only thing I got from this product was dryness. No matter what moisturizing product I used under it, I got dryness. I tried it with a wash and go, I got dryness. I tried it with a twist out, I got dryness. I tried it with a flex rod set, I got dryness. And then finally, I tried it for a braid out, and guess what? I got dryness. So this has earned its place on the worst natural hair products of 2017. The next product on my list was wonderfully captured on film, and this is the Miel Organics Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream. Yeah. Again, I would have loved to love this product. Cause it wasn't cheap. <laughs> this is one of those products that I say felt Yuki on my wet hair. It just was not absorbing, it just felt thick and mucky and uh, yeah, it wasn't moisturizing any at all for my low porosity hair. However, this is an empty container, 
so why is it empty if I dislike the product so much and I only used it once because my boyfriend loves it it leaves his hair coily and moisturized he gets really great twist outs from it and finger coils yeah so clearly it's not a hopeless product it's just hopeless on my hair next product is from the same family male organics and this is the babasu oil mint deep conditioner Go, go stone me. I know this is a favorite of a lot of naturals, but it's just not one of my favorites. This was less of a worst natural hair product and more of a most disappointing natural hair product. My expectation for this deep conditioner was up the roof because it hype up everywhere. Not people love it. People buy it by the dozen, stack it up in them shelves. I rave about this deep conditioner all day, all night long. So, imagine my surprise when I applied this to my hair and it was just mediocre. Like, every single time after rinsing out this deep conditioner, it left my hair the same exact way it went on to my hair. It did nothing for my hair. So for this product, it's not a matter of it leaving my hair dry or anything. It was just mediocre and uh, you know didn't do anything for my hair the next product i have here is the jane carter solution curls to go curl drench cleansing co-wash i picked up this product on a whim i didn't really watch any reviews about it before buying it i saw it on the shelf i'm a product junkie and i just picked it up for this product it is the worst co-wash that i have ever tried it doesn't have a lot of slip, it don't leave my hair very moisturized and overall it's really just a very blah product and I don't like the smell either. And the final product on my list is from that same family, the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. And as much as I love the punny name for this gel, Coiling All Curls. I don't like the product. It was way too lightweight, it was dry on my hair, and worst of all, it flakes. It flakes when I tried it with a wash and go, it flakes when I tried it with a twist out, but did I give up? Did Viviana stop there? No. I said, I am going to get my money's worth, and I'm going to try to use it to sleep my hair up in a ponytail, just do my baby hairs, just some light work like that. And can you guess? What happened, ladies and gentlemen? It flaked. So yes, I would love to say that these are the only hair products of 2017 that I have tried and that I don't like. However, there are many more that are already thrown in the trash. I have already posted two other videos of natural hair products that I don't like. Like I have tried with these products. They just don't like me. They just... Oh, so you just wanted me to buy you and then no, you don't do anything that you promised. After I spend my money on you? So, so this is going to be my anti-empties, okay? Products that I have not used up, but I am getting rid of today. I'm the type of person that whenever I spend my money on something, I like to get the full use out of it. However, there are just a few products that I have purchased while being natural that there's just no hope for them so let's start off with a product that i have actually only used once before this is a shea moisture you can and plantain don't forget those those count too okay beauties i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did if you do not agree with any of the products that i have shown in today's video be sure to tell me down in the comment section i'm looking forward to seeing what you thought about these products if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet and you are not sure from this one video that you want to subscribe, not to worry. I'll leave some more videos up in the iCard so you can watch, get more familiar with my channel and what we do around here.
And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, you're welcome to subscribe. Okay, beauties. Later. Mwah. What you say? Best natural hair products next? So I got another bag of empties. Eh, eh, the same old bag. <laughs> Different empties, okay? So all of these are natural hair stuff. So let me just start with the first thing I grab out of the bag. And here I'm going to be, yes, following along with the tutorial. And you'll be following along with it too. However, I'm going to be showing you my updated wash and go. 